Mobile game advertisers created the playbook, and now, but so far there are a few two success stories. Cloud gaming subscriptions to services like have been lackluster. So I, I was doing some uh, research earlier. I think it was today. I don't know. If the days just kind of just fly by now. How can I get rid of this? And uh, I guess PlayStation, like PlayStation, just relaunched uh, their cloud stuff. And they have 40 something million subscribers. That's the whole PlayStation Plus, right? Um, I was looking at some numbers. And um, you compare that with uh, what was it, 10 million for Xbox? And it's like, that's, I mean, uh, it's just, it shows, it proves that uh, brand recognition is way more important that, than the technology, you know? Uh, because even people that uh, other staters, <laughs> other hater, <laughs> other stadia haters, they uh, they say the technology is great. They're just sad about not having enough games. Cloud gaming is. Well, let me let me read the title of this. Mobile game advertisers created the playbook, and now consoles can follow. Recent news that Microsoft and Sony are both bringing ads to their free-to-play games has left the industry buzzing, but it seems inevitable. It's no, it's no secret that uh, free-to-play on mobile has struck a fine balance between sati satiating gamers' needs for engaging gameplay and advertisers' mission to grow their audience. Mobile has created a blueprint. Now consoles will follow suit. Cloud gaming, mobile pa paves the way. Cloud gaming is not new, but so far there are a few true success stories. Cloud gaming subscriptions to services like Google Stadia have been lackluster. Signups fell short of Google's 2020 end of year goal of 1 million monthly active users by approximately 25%. This is at least in part due to its lack of investment in first party games. Not the lack, the pullback on investment. To thrive, subscription-based gaming businesses need other means of monetization. The free-to-play business model is a viable alternative simply because it opens up many other opportunities for revenue besides in-app purchases, and there are other advantages as well. I can't think of any mobile game that I play with advertisement. Are they talking about the small banners on the bottom? Oh, actually, you know what? I'll take it back. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've installed and play a few Android games where they have they have banners on the bottom, or when you you get upgrades if you watch a short ad, you you get uh, every time you you go from one level to the next, you get short. You watch like a what is it like a ten second, uh, no more than thirty second ad. I, I guess that's what they're talking about, right? For example, with a free to play cloud gaming strategy. Microsoft gets access to a vast pool of new users. Many of them would not have previously considered paid subscriptions or have had the device space required to download multiple apps. Microsoft's recent collaboration with Epic Games Fortnite is a testament to this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that was like a slap in the face for Apple. Console brands like Sony are in desperate need of this strategy. For them, growth is essential. I mean, Sony's the biggest right now, right? They need to use their first-party content to tap into advertising dollars. I also found out that uh, Sony has double the uh, first-party or exclusive video games than Xbox, which is a lot. A model for overcoming obstacles. Despite the opportunity, the problem consoles face is similar to what mobile met a decade ago. Free-to-play introduced ads, which gave game developers were initially against. Over time, however, advertising formats grew to a more interactive and less intrusive uh, value exchange advertising, such as rewarded videos, has been extremely successful. I click. I always click on those videos. I always, always. If they gave me another life or another or more, uh, you know, coins or whatever, I click on the videos. It improves retention and, and session length in games. Console game developers will need to identify ad integrations that are equally beneficial to gameplay. It's essential to understand what users value to exceed at the game and what keeps them engaged. The only problem that I'm seeing right now with this being on cloud gaming is that would the advertisement be within the game session or would it be prior to or after the game session? You know what I mean? Or would it be like on a pause menu? That's what would be interesting, because otherwise they, the developers would have to 
code the advertisement into the game. You know, I guess some of them do it already, right? Uh, at least for the in-app in purchases. I think it's just explaining the, the current state of advertisement in, um, in mobile. And they're trying to they're trying to link it to cloud gaming somehow. The most obvious ad format for many console games will be in-game brand ads in the form of bill uh, billboards, or in stadium ads like uh, in FIFA and Madden. Performance advertisers, though, would likely want something incentivized. Uh, interactive ads such as playable ads have also proven to be extremely successful formats that encourage engagement. Playable ads might also lend themselves well to an environment where creation is valued by the community. The game within a game approach is already gaining traction with brands such as Coca-Cola. The brand recently debuted its Pixel Point experience in Fortnite, which included mini games to promote limited edition Coke flavors. That'd be kind of cool. As console gaming evolves, mobile provider mobile provides a worthy model. There, advertisers have already solved challenges around attribution, attribution, formatting, targeting, and integration. And the fundamentals are the same. Gaining access to new previously unavailable users will undoubtedly lead to a more mature advertisement advertising environment, one that's not siloed, siloed by device type. I don't know what that means, but Okay, so here here are my thoughts. Uh, I mean, just uh, just to stay stay with the Stadia uh, fan theme, so Google will probably figure out how to do that the, the easiest. Uh, right now, it's free, free, free because most of, I think most of their services are free. Um, but if they wanted to implement ad, ads in the games to make it completely free. 100%, even including like, uh, you know, I don't think they'll get rid of Pro, but even if they want to just have a different uh, a different uh, revenue stream, uh, I mean, they run Android. They run the Android, Android store, you know what I mean? So uh, if they're already in the business of advertisement. They're already, they're already in the business of uh, game, uh, advertisement and gaming. So they will do well. This is what my worry would be. Uh, you guys remember uh, MySpace? <laughs> So MySpace was huge, pretty big, um, probably the biggest social media at the time, uh, social media platform. But then they went hard on the advertisement to try to be prof prof profitable. And in fact, Facebook had a problem getting to profitability because they wanted to avoid the what MySpace may, uh, did by just bombarding everybody with uh, advertisements. And, it, you know, there's a bunch of different issues, but I, I think advertisement was one of those uh, uh, things that people just kind of like, mm, or they were put off the platform from it. So that's the only thing that I worry about. I remember being there in my space and being able to, you know, customize your page. And all of a sudden, anytime you hit the launch, launch page, it would get bigger and bigger ads to the point where you hit myspace.com and it was like a big bam movie action scene kind of, you know, uh, trailer and a bunch of uh, uh, like uh, ads on the side. So I think that that's didn't help my space it was probably going to die anyways but uh, uh, it's still around by the way so i should be careful when i say it's <laughs> it was going to die anyways in fact uh, just a timberlake i bought it uh but i think that's my only the only thing that kind of worries me if uh stadia or any other uh, any of the consoles decide to start bringing in advertisement they have to be really good with it you have to be really smart with it because um people can easily get put off if they feel like they're being they're being kind of bombarded you know what i mean just Dipper like picked up my space after it bombed. That didn't go anywhere either. He must have cried a river. <laughs> this guy, this guy got jokes.